suggestion for initiation of things that we see that maybe can be, you know, change or tweak a little bit? Is there, sometimes I hear it. Not when you're in initiation. Oh, no, 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 After you write it down and give it to me. Many Americans are only a bit for Hare Krishna, <laughs> maybe, or, you know, chanting around or having the appearance of seven broken or something like that, hanging around on the street. Yeah? They like it. Okay, why not? Anything makes them happy is according to God's will. <laughs> the children, if they want to have toys, it's all right. When they grow up, they will ask for everything. So why should I worry, yeah? Actually, you know what? I'm already doing the best that I can. You know, like the Rama Krishna or Rama? Yeah. Swami Ram? There's a whole bunch of Rama. <laughs> <laughs> so many Ramas. Ah, you know, there is a one who died a long time ago. Yeah, he was the same that was supposed to be somebody. Yeah, that's his different. That's another one. Okay, he never left India, right? Yes. Yeah. But he sent his disciples to the West. So I tracked many West. Vivekananda. Yeah. G. Rama. For example, huh? he never left India. But many Westerners came to him. You know what I mean? So if they want to come, they come, huh? Oh, of course, many other masters. They live in India too, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And even after they, they die, they still kind of worship their souls and begging for some leftover message. <laughs> Something like that, you know? So why should I worry, huh? I already do my best, and if they don't appreciate it, why should I force myself? Mm-hmm. Maybe we have to ask the Taiwanese government to ask to name this country New India and then make them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I changed my name to Ananda Dananda, Marahan, Marachi, Matachi, Paramsa, Guru, Tofu. <laughs> Never mind. I think I'm very satisfied with my work. It's going well. You don't know how how much work. Of translations, all kinds of things, and disaster relief, and all that. Do a lot of work, huh? You've done in ten years with other people done in fifteen years. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you, you said it. Yes, yes. Six years since I began to get famous. Or ten years. Okay. Yeah. I was not that famous really before. See me? And uh, yeah, I am the only one that lecture in the United Nations. Even though it's on the wing, <laughs> that was a wing, but still, you know what I mean? I've gone anywhere that I can. Don't look at what other people do. They just sit there and wait for the disciples who want to try to climb the mountain. Huh? And I'm the one who works hard and doesn't have anything, so why? Okay, I, get, I reap all the merit and rewards. <laughs> and Americans they go, they get nothing, just because they don't appreciate it. You know, huh? Okay. So don't blame me anymore about this organizing or not appreciating or everything. No, no, you're not. You're not. You're not even responsible. No, we're not. It's difficult not to, you know, want to. Uh huh. Because we hear the people. Yes. So much what you give. Okay, you know what? Just that I don't stay there. I have no intention of anything. I stay where I feel comfortable and where I got. Well, God placed me, you know what I mean? And whatever else happens, that's the case, you know? <laughs> 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 I was thinking about the Christians in America, they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know, there's just all these people yeah. that are yes. chanting on the street, mm-hmm. and that's how the people are coming to life. Uh-huh. 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 So, yeah. uh, there's a Tibetan Rinpoche, they once coined a term called spiritual Yes. Yeah. Like they like to shave their heads and wear robes yes. and, and look Indian and scare yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's true, but they're yeah. also, it, the point is, people are in need. Right? That's, they need something. It's not, it's not like well, that's what they need. Yeah. 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 Maybe what they need yeah. is the robe and the, the chanting. Well, maybe it's good for them for the moment and then they, they prepare for a higher, you know, stitching later on. So you, you cannot uh, say what is good for them and what is not. It's okay. Yeah. I only know that I try my best. And that's satisfying. No end. <laughs> and finish.
whatever else we do is extra with time. You know, in only about a few years, six to eight years, since I came to the West first time. Nine, what? 89. 89. Yes, 89. So at that time, I didn't even have one book in English. Oh, the, the only English tape was the one from the lecture. <laughs> Immediately, fresh. Yeah? Uh, just back, you know. Uh, freshly back from the office. So, I know the English type in the office, well, uh, you know, you could read one sentence of five, ten fellows in it. Yeah? Ten mistakes. German, oh, for mistake. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, you see me? And then now we have so many translated books and magazines in different languages, yeah? And then we give our millions of dollars in help, yeah? And we have disciples all over the world in different languages. I think it's a tremendous work. But just a few handfuls of Chinese, even though we have more than 100 uh, residents here, not all of them are intellectual. Not all of them understand English and all that. You know what I mean? Let alone Deutsch and Deutsch and uh, 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 all kinds of other Korean and, and you know Spanish language. So we, we started from nothing. I knew no one in Taiwan when I came here, and I know nobody in America when I went there. I know nobody. I have only a handful of monks and nuns and peasants and all kinds. Anybody? Taxi drivers and trucks. Oh, why not? I started from scratch, really, from nothing. And in six years, or oh, what? Eight, six, seven, eight yeah, years? Because when I came to the West, I didn't I mean I already was serious and I stayed, I stayed in storerooms. Uh, had no visa for disciples, for one and only. Hard time, too, the hard time the everywhere. Road. No visa, no disciples. I was the only one who could go. Chinese could come and I have nobody else there. You know, the first lecture in America, no disciples. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was Labor Day, too. Labor <laughs> Day, and then, <laughs> uh, yeah, one of the <laughs> friends, one of the friends of the friends of the friends of the friends <laughs> of the disciples' friend, <laughs> lent me a room or something like that. I didn't even know where to stay. Yeah. Any food and all, it could be a problem. And I did not even dare to stay in a first-class hotel where I could order you know, and food with ease and nothing. So we, 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 it's really God's will that I'm doing. Otherwise, I could never succeed in such a short time and have so many disciples from all walks of life. You know, of course you are Americans and you care for them, but you know, look at all these friends we have. And I have been in Europe only once. Been in Australia only once. Yeah. And so many Australians came. And I've been in America many times. Only you or two came. Australia. Six hours. Six hours. Yeah. 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 Why? It costs a bomb. Yeah, I guess a lot. I wanted to buy a center for the Hawaiian people there. Wow, oh, it costs so much. A million dollars at least. Two a few acres of land. Yeah, so. You know what I mean? This is not always easy, huh? Eh? No. Mm. And I think God has blessed me a great deal. I can't complain. For all the beautiful disciples that I have. You know, I can't complain, compare to anyone else. I don't want to compare. I'm so blessed, so loved, and so successful. I think, I think bless, bless God. Huh? He's really blessed. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> a girl. girl yes. <laughs> now I had a different name for him, but, but I also forget myself. <laughs> him and her become what? Yeah, yeah. There is no more he and him. But I forget, it seems strange, but I also have to get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the magazine it's okay, you know, so people, they don't argue anymore why I say it's a her and I say it's a him. They argue over such things. You know, I'm really uh, satisfied with what I have, you know? And if God consent to give me more in the future, more occidental disciples, so I'm a bit more happy and more grateful. Otherwise, okay, fine, yeah? 
I don't think all the gurus has such wonderful disciples as I have. I'm, I'm proud to say. Yeah? Really disciplined, really sincere and practicing, not just numbers. You know? I'm very proud of, 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 of the, the friends that I have, the disciples, the so-called disciples that I have. Some of them are, you know, the, you know, troublesome, but they're not bad, you know what I mean? They don't go and do anything harmful to society. Really. Like for example, her. The, the only stupid thing she does is ask for toilet. <laughs> for example, and you know what I mean? And for what I scold here, for the mistakes that I scold you here, oh, all the disciples in other so-called groups had to learn ten years or ten thousand years to learn the mistake that you do here, to arrive at the mistaken level that you do. That you I was still hanging around with a lot of things, criminal records and all that. Yeah, we, we deal with toilets. <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only crime that she committed. <laughs> I ask a lot, you know, she likes me to look at her and talk to her. Or know what she's doing. And that's all, it's only a childish behavior. That's all, nothing bad. The worst disciples here are saints compared to those elsewhere, you know what I mean? I've been around too myself, and I've been mixed with all kinds of so-called disciples, yeah? I have been a so-called disciple myself, and I'm proud to say that you are the best in the world, really, really, God's gift, <laughs> truly God's gift. So it's not a number that's important. What can you do with a lot of numbers and then it's so confusing, yeah? Really, I must let you know, I'm very proud of you. Mm -hmm. Whoever can come here, I, I, I know who you are, I don't know what you are. I'm sure of your identity, your quality, and your spiritual progress. You know, like I read a book. What if I have a lot of disciples and I don't even know? You know, and what they do, I can't control. And they bring harm to society in the name of my faith and my religion and all that, you know what I mean? Just trying to get more numbers and more, get loud and more noise so that people notice them. What for? They don't get respect that way. Maybe people join them for a while, but then they lose their purpose, then they go out again, or they do their own purpose. Yeah? And even like in the name of the religious order that they saw, decide to join in the beginning. See what I mean? A big deal of the number of disciples means nothing to me. Don't you think? You've seen a lot of <laughs> uh, noisy and crowded uh, groups of other so-called disciples and more remarkable. Yeah, everybody knows who they are and by the look of the dress and uh, appearance and things like that. But what do they do? What do they do? Hmm? What do they do with their lives? What do they do for society? Then you know, huh? Okay, we have it. We are really blessed. <laughs> really blessed. But the, your suggestion, I, I, would, I would think about it. But uh, you must let me know where you stay, otherwise I never know if you are there. <laughs> but then it's not good. Hmm? No okay. Time. Thank you. Oh, okay. Go down. Thank you. What? Don't worry, we'll be clean. It's not the worst thing. The karma is difficult, but it's the cycles. Do we smoke at home? High heels? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. High tech, yes. Yeah. Fashionable? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Those who came out are kind of a um, messenger, you know, not master. Okay. It takes a long time. If you want, you may try and stay around for a while, huh? Okay? Let me get to know you. Correct your shortcomings and mistakes before I send you out. Yeah? It's a perfect picture. Okay? But if you think you're perfect already, then, well, I don't care. <laughs> now get lost. <laughs>
so we're leaving today? Leaving tomorrow? Tomorrow? Hmm. Do you have any testament <laughs> before you leave? You want anything? Any questions? So I just want to thank you for this uh, period at the center, uh, for your hospitality. And uh, in the same time, uh, I would like to bring uh, the love of uh, the fellow practitioners in Montreal, from Montreal. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> How many are you leaving uh, tomorrow? In the morning or all together? In the morning? Morning? Afternoon. Night afternoon? PM? 11? 11 is AM. PM? <laughs> PM evening? Yes. Oh, really? Tonight? No. Tomorrow night. Well, time in this dimension is always like this, huh? <laughs> Doesn't matter how long you stay, it's never forever. <laughs> I just hope that I have made you comfortable during your short stay. Besides, uh, there's no such formality between us, right? You know me very well, <laughs> that's why you come. And some people don't know me very well, and that's why they come. <laughs> In either case, <laughs> we try to accommodate each other. Uh, of course, there are always technical yeah, mistakes here and there. But otherwise, uh, you enjoy yourselves? Yes. Really? Yes. What? Sophie, did you say something? <laughs> You are leaving tomorrow? No, uh, Sunday. Sunday? Sunday. Oh, after a few days. Oh, today is Friday. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> I'm getting old, you know? <laughs> and working too hard, <laughs> perhaps. I think. <laughs> Don't look. Forgot to drink water. <coughs> Some is dry. Mm. Anyhow, you know what? Those who are staying a little longer are enjoying more special privilege, I think, huh? <laughs> Those who left early just had very normal normal treatment, right? Is that not so? Yes. Huh? No party, no tea party and <laughs> No scolding, <laughs> no special pepper, no, just plain food. Huh? And these days you have a little bit of, uh, I would say, spice, huh? <laughs> spicy food. Huh? Sweet and sour, <laughs> hot <laughs> shop, and what else? Bitter? Uh, a little, a little bit. I didn't give you the full dose yet. <laughs> if you if you request, you know, <laughs> special spice may be added to your food, and then you <laughs> you probably do not like it. <laughs> Everything okay? Uh, I don't know what else to do to make you happy. There's nothing else you want? Huh? Rock and roll or roll and rock? <laughs> You want? <laughs> huh? You want rock and roll? We have a lot of rocks that you can roll around. <laughs> yeah. You can uh, take turns to roll the rocks to the hill. Yeah, because we are making some garden, you know that, huh? And we, we need some rocks, huh? And you can roll them around. <laughs> Especially those who have strong body and a lot of energy. I may roll some rocks for the females to do gardening. We're trying to make use of some of the places. See, like, for example, the higher hill slope, you see? See that? Next to the bamboo groove. Grove or groove? Groove. Grove. <laughs> the bamboo grove uh, that used to be the ten area for the children and women who have children. Mm. 
So now we convert it into a kind of uh, garden, you know, with flowers, soft grass, <laughs> hard rocks, <laughs> and a paved walkway, thing like that. So in case uh, you ever come back again, you can have a stroll in the garden, you know, feeling that you're at home, <laughs> because it looks more European that way. huh? Otherwise, you in Taiwan, you hardly see flower garden anywhere. You have some? Yeah? Did you see some? Rare, huh? Rare. Here in Taiwan, they grow people. <laughs> 21 million. <laughs> it's such a small island. <laughs> very, very prosperous. Nearly half of America's population. <laughs> no, huh? 200... How many? Huh? One-tenth. One-tenth, huh? 217 million. Uh, half of the population, I think, is uh, Japan. Uh, not, <laughs> not Taiwan, I get mixed up, yeah. But Japan has more islands. One-tenth of the American population? Yes. Phew! That is a statement. <laughs> because of Taiwan, you know. <laughs> so small, huh, compared to America. Just like one point. If the map is too small, you don't see it either. You don't see it as if the nation just simply doesn't exist, <laughs> right? Some of the old maps, when I want to find Taiwan, I don't know where it is. You know, Indian maps, things like that, you know, they're printed in India. I just simply forget Taiwan. <laughs> it's too small. They make small maps and you don't see it. Mm. So that, that is a lot for a small island, huh? But luckily, we still have enough space to welcome you, huh? Yes. I tell you what, you, you say you want to see around here, but I don't think you want to, because if you walk, you know, from here to there, <laughs> well, I think you, will, you wish you never made such a, <laughs> such a wish. It's very tiring. Even me, I'm very tired. Even with my golf cart, you know? My golf cart is tired. <laughs> <laughs> He complains all the time. He says, what? <laughs> you make me you know, go up and down the hill all the time. Luckily, that car is very strong. I can take a few people with me, you know, running up the hill and down again. So every day, you know, I take care of my small country here. It's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I wish the people who are leaving tomorrow a very good journey. Hmm? And maybe we we'll see each other again. I, I hope you're satisfied with our treatment here and the little, whatever little things you have. Are you or are you not? Yes. 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 Yeah? Satisfied? Yes. Truly? Yes. I, I don't mean the ones who stay so long and, <laughs> and eat all my stuff, but <laughs> I mean those who just come <laughs> and go. Are you satisfied? Yes. Even just a short time? Yes. You're right? I'm asking the leaving, you know, I'm not asking the staying. <laughs> the staying ones, you don't know what comes tomorrow yet. <laughs> huh? More spice. What? Spicy, I mean, either. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't ever suggest yourself into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, really, you satisfied? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have anybody here. <laughs> Because all the monks and nuns are very, very busy. Ah, mm. uh, let me see. Can you go into the uh, one of you? Not the Australian. <laughs> Maybe they don't understand you. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, you run into the telephone place, huh? Yeah. Bring a box of candies or something. Yeah. You give them to the one who leave tomorrow. Mm. The other one can just stand by and <laughs> donate some. Donate some clapping hands and mouth water. <laughs> Be quick, huh? Oh, that's also a big help. Huh? Can you see me, all of you? Yeah? See some? I mean, well, I'm just sitting here so you can look at me a little bit more. <laughs> see how many lines I have? <laughs> You're looking very beautiful and healthy, even with no makeup. Yeah, it looks like you're having a good time. Hmm? 
you have enough love and exercise, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because you roll the rocks? <laughs> I told you at this time. I told you. Uh, oh yeah, I have all kinds of activities here, rocks and rolls and all that. So don't you ever complain that, you know, <laughs> you follow the Master Ching Hai and you have no more fun in life, you know. All the rocks and rolls you have to leave out. No, no. We <laughs> here we have a lot of rocks and you can roll all day long. <laughs> really, you're working? Yeah. What did you do? Roll the rocks. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> but you can bring some music along and you know, make it live. Huh? <laughs> Anyhow, I have written some rock and roll music for you, just for the occasion. Yeah, Live rock and real rock. Hey, well, you can't find that in any nightclub in the world, right? It's real rock and roll, <laughs> strong. Where, where did you roll the rocks? In the garden. In the garden? Yes. All of you had to work? Yes. I thought they had finished. No, not yet. Not yet? Almost. That's why they nearly finished. What is that? That's why they nearly finished. That's why they nearly finished. Oh, because they... They, <laughs> they roll all of you up the hill? <laughs> Oh, that's a big job because of all these rocks, my God. <laughs> it's difficult to roll you up, huh? Yes. All of you, even small and big? Yes. How many rocks do they have there? Yes. A lot? Yes. Big rocks? Yes. Small rocks. Yes. Small rocks? Yes. Small rocks? Yes. What? Boulders. <laughs> Maybe some of you came from uh, Colorado. <laughs> Oh, really? I dare not walk into there yet because I surely will find something wrong, <laughs> so I don't walk there. <laughs> I have enough places to be angry with, so I dare not walk there, you know, even though I pass by. But every day I pass by, they put some rocks in front of my, you know, my car. And today they have no more rocks because you roll them all, so they put <laughs> dirt, you know, a big heap of, of soil on the road. Right in the middle, you know, no more, no less. So, so I had to always, uh, as I back up my car and find the other road. We have only a few roads here, <laughs> and then I find another road. And then there's a big truck standing there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Today, just the traffic jam. Huh? You talked about traffic jams. <laughs> <laughs> I had trouble, you know, jumping my golf cart down here. Good that we don't even have too, too many people in uh, this small village here. Otherwise, you know, just to reach you uh, takes an eternity. <laughs> so really, <laughs> you've been exercising today, huh? Was it fun? Yes. Yeah, sure. I s <laughs> Why, not fun? <laughs> huh? You look healthy, wealthy and... <laughs> And guilty. <laughs> you really look good today, no wonder. Oh, special treatment. <laughs> Some exercise is good for you, yeah? When you sit, you really like, like a rock. You, know? <laughs> you cannot move one muscle. <laughs> All the muscles are stiff <laughs> and became like a rock. <laughs> but did you meditate well afterward or not? Yes. Yeah? Good, huh? I cannot believe all of you went up the hill and moved the rocks. <laughs> Not all. Not all? Yeah. Uh, the, man rock. the man moved the rocks? Yeah, yeah. And the woman stood by <laughs> and clapped the hands? What do you do? You say you exercise. Move small, small rocks. <laughs> Even the big one too. <laughs> you move the rocks too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? You arrange them, right? The boys, the boys move them from the trucks, and you arrange them into place. Is that right? Yes. So all of you fit in that tiny garden? Not all. Not all. Oh, what else did you do? Plant grass. Plant grass. Plant flowers. Flowers. 
Uh huh. You can water, you know, the, the things here. Yeah. Uh, old woman and that <laughs> can just <laughs> water huh? one at a time. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> so now I think you never want to come back again. <laughs> That to be <laughs> that to be good for both of us. <laughs> I get rid of you and you get rid of your illusion <laughs> about what it's like to be in master presence. Eh? Well, you have to be master of everything, you know? Master of physics, master of art and master of your own mind. Yeah? So here is a training center. <laughs> if you want to come back, we train again. <laughs> There are so many aspects you have not been trained yet. Huh? So don't have an illusion that a practitioner will sit in the lotus position like this <laughs> and then recite mantra all day long. Om or Mu, whatever. <laughs> we are a working group. Yeah? We meditate, but we work. See? We use both physical and spiritual strength to beautify our life and to beautify wherever we go, whether it's hell, whether it's earth, whether it's heaven. We make all into heaven. Mm. That is our job. That's the way we have to be. I think that's the way of a saint. Yeah? There's no other saint. <laughs> because uh, a saint who is useless is a useless saint. <laughs> Wow, you took all my storeroom. <laughs> <laughs> only a, I don't I say only a few people. All right. <laughs> that is mine, that's mine, that belongs to them. <laughs> Anyhow, all things belong to you. I'll give here the, the basket. Those who live tomorrow, come here. Yeah, put it here, up here. Okay. Come here and take some symbolic gift. Because you have a lot more in the kitchen, you know? Okay, Korea? I'm clear. <laughs> he laid out his life for cakes. <laughs> a great sacrifice. Yeah, here you are. There are more in the kitchen. If you need more for kids or family, be welcome. Take some. Yeah. My hands are very small. God made it on purpose. <laughs> because He knows I have too many disciples. So if my hands are big, I'm done. <laughs> Going ready? So quick. You just came, <laughs> I think, a few days ago. These are the greatest practitioner of Korea. You know, the Korean monks, they're very serious, huh? Monks and nuns, you know? Monks and nuns also. When I say monks, I mean both male and female. They're very serious. Sometimes they go into the mountain and and don't come out for many decades or over ten years, yeah. But they get nothing. <laughs> Only rocks and roll. <laughs> and rolling in the rocks. <laughs> Until they met the so called Supreme Master Ching Hai, and then they don't need to stay there, but they get everything. That's what they told me. Hmm? So you see, huh? Effort combined with wisdom, then it bears fruit. Otherwise, if you sit there like a rock, <laughs> you still arrive nowhere in hundreds of years, right? And here you sit just uh, not very long and you have fruit. Yeah? Your life changed, you feel better, uh, you are more intelligent elsewhere, not here, of course. <laughs> yeah, but everywhere else people praise you. I heard, I heard from afar, your name spread far and wide. <laughs> Oh, everybody comes and says, well, they come because of you. And sometimes the people come because of you. They come and tell me, oh, your disciples are the ones, you know, who made me come here. I say, why? They say, because they're so happy, they're so honest, and so open, they're so wise, and so helpful, and so loving, so holy, so <laughs> molly. So <laughs> yeah. 
You know what I mean? So the good disciples are the ones who make a good name. Yeah, and you are all very good. I heard. So I hope you keep up your name and become better and better each day. And that's how you repay all the master's kindness, past, present, and future. That's the only way. There's no other way. They don't need material support. They don't need anything. They don't need anything. And they're the ones who come to give, not to take, really. Hmm. So the only thing we can do is just be a good example, huh? so that other human beings can follow in our footsteps and have benefit for themselves, see? And then become uh, one big family, bigger family, and then we bring heaven to earth. Mm. And that's the best thing we could do in this life or any other life. Otherwise, uh, it's no use, really. Mm? Mm. I know so, so many so-called very, very earnest practitioners. They sit there in a mountain or in a cave for many, many, many long years. They eat only once a day. They wear a rack, you know. They took the clothes that the people throw away to wear. They don't even waste anything. Or they go out in the market and collect the things that people throw away, you know, that still can be eaten and anything they can use. That's all right. That's very fine too with me. This is very frugal and uh, it's very humble, fine, you know. But even then, that doesn't earn you a place in heaven. That probably will make you a king of the beggars, <laughs> but not a king of heaven. <laughs> So this is very funny, huh? The way to happiness and peace is very easy. Too easy that sometimes we feel it's not true, <laughs> right? We think we are dreaming. How can we have such a very good fortune to encounter such a good uh, way to practice that even we could enjoy our life, we take it easy, we do every other job that we do, and then we still can attain Peace and happiness inside. And it costs nothing, unconditional. That's why we feel sometimes it is unbelievable, right? Because uh, you and I have also followed sometimes in the past uh, a few other paths, right? Mm. Which requires a lot of effort, sometimes a lot of financial, <laughs> uh, I'll say, uh, offerings and consuming a lot of time, and then we still attain nothing, yeah? The best is only some emotional upliftment when we see some glamorous temple or some very big giant statues or, or very solemn so-called teachers and then, you know, psychologically we ourselves feel that we have uh, attained something. Uh, that's, that's that, you know? Oh, the splendor of the outside temple or the uh, magnificent outlook of a master. That's all we got, and that's all we achieve, and that's all we could look at, and then we think, that's it. You know what I mean? That's it. We have comforted our soul with such splendor from outside, like a gold-plated uh, temple, or very, uh, how say, dignified master, and, you know, very, uh, how say, ascetic teachers and things like that. And then we always try to comfort ourselves that we have chosen <laughs> the right one. And then many years pass and then we still feel empty. We still feel missing something until the day we find this method, the Guaning method. And then we feel satisfied. We know that we arrived. Hmm. For other people who cannot continue to practice, perhaps that's all they, they want, this life, just a short time, and they have to come back again. But if they already practice this method, nothing else will satisfy them. It doesn't matter how they look or how much they try, they will have to come back to, the <laughs> to this method again. Because this is the only way that satisfies our soul, our true self. The other methods are like uh, toys for the children when we are not really grown up we probably be satisfied with those for a short time, but then no more. Hmm? Okay, so i see you around tomorrow, okay? Hmm. Tomorrow I will cook up
cook up some games. <laughs> if there's no more rocks, <laughs> I'll find some other things for you to do. <laughs> Well, you look happy anyway. It doesn't do you any harm, no? no. It looks like it did you some good, huh? Yes. Wow, you work, but I feel so tired. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Uh, I nearly dropped dead, you know, on the sofa upstairs. But I say I have to come down and see you anyhow before you leave, some of you. Hmm? Because I know it doesn't matter how many times you see me, it's never enough. So at least I show my best effort that you saw me when you came and you see me when you leave, so at least you know that's all I can do and I've done all possible to comfort you, that's all. doesn't mean that you have enough, I know that. If I ask you, you say no, <laughs> for sure. But at least you know that I have tried my best, yeah? And I spend all the possible time with you and that makes you happy, yeah? and that you know that uh, my love is unconditional and I always will consider your feelings. And that's the meaning of saying hello and goodbye. Not that I need to come and greet you immediately when you come, otherwise you die. <laughs> or if I don't see you before you leave, and you will, you know, not progress or things like that. It's, it's not so. Hmm? I just want to try my best. Hmm? <laughs> okay, so I'll see you, huh? Good night. Have a good night because tomorrow we have a lot of games to play. <laughs> I was worried that uh, many people would come and we would not have enough places. So I told Tong to check whether you have enough places to camp. But you have enough, huh? Yes. It's funny, there's still a lot of space around. <laughs> <laughs> like magic here, you know, like the land keeps expanding. <laughs> because it look, looks very small, that piece of land, no? Over 400 people. Can you believe it? Yeah? And it can stretch to 900. <laughs> but I don't hope the population swell so, so much and so fast. Anyhow, I think no problem. Even if I stay here longer, if you stay or you come, I don't feel disturbed at all by your presence. I just feel happy that you can come and that I can have time for you. You know, it's not like a rush into your country because always a lot of people when I go to your places. And you never have time really to relax with me, is that not so? Yes. Or to rock something. <laughs> okay, so enjoy, continue, enjoy, yeah? And those who leave, remember, take me with you. Hmm? Mm. Okay, good night.